Hello children, good morning, or good day rather, depending on the time you're watching the video. Okay, today we are looking at, in Crocus, we are looking at bone and joint diseases. Bone and joint diseases. Okay, we discussed some when we are doing skeleton, but today we will discuss just five types of them. Okay, and as we go higher, we'll learn more. So, I'm starting with the first type, which is very common, and it is called arthritis. Okay, arthritis is a type of joint disease. Okay, it is actually an inflammation of a joint. Okay, and people who have it always experience swelling, warm, and they experience pain, and often have trouble moving that part of their leg. Okay, and it gets worsened as the person age. Okay, and are different types of arthritis. Okay, but the most common type of arthritis are osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and others. Okay, then the second type of bone disease we are looking at is called fracture, as you can see on my slide. Okay. It's called fracture. Fracture has to do with the breaking of bones. Okay? There are basically two types of fractures simplified that I will discuss today. And these two types of fractures are there on my slide. They are the simple fracture and the compound fracture. As you can see in the picture displayed in my slide, okay, the simple fracture is the breaking of the bone, but then the bone does not tear the skin. Okay? The bone does not tear the flesh and it doesn't come out of the flesh, as you can see in the slide. While the compound fracture okay, is a type that breaks, after breaking, it tears the flesh and comes out of the skin. Okay? That one is called the compound fracture. Okay? That's also a type of bone disease. The next one, which is the third one I'll be looking at, is the osteomyelitis osteomyelitis okay it is a bone infection okay it is an infection that is found in the bone the infection the infection can be can reach a bone by traveling through the bloodstream okay it can travel through bloodstream to the bone and as it goes to the bone it spreads from nearby tissues okay it can as well spray from nearby tissues it is an infection which can also begin in the bone itself, that's inside the bone. Okay, not begin, not other tissues that are close to the bone. It can begin from the bone itself. Okay, it's a type of infection. It can begin from the bone itself. If one has an injury, okay, and the injury is exposed, the bone can be infected by germs. And these germs are the ones that cause the osteomyelitis, a type of bone disease. Okay? type of what? Bone disease. Then the fourth one I'll be looking at is the osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a common metabolic bone disorder. Okay? It is characterized by the progressive loss of bone mass density. That is, the bone begins to lose some mass density. That is, it will start reducing. Okay? It predominantly affects the thoracic and thoracolumbar regions of the spine and other parts of the bones. Remember, we treated the skeleton. And it is also a very serious contributing factor. Okay? It's a serious contributing factor to hip and wrist fractures. That is, when it is weakened, when the bone is weakened, okay, it can lead to fracture. When the bone is weakened, a little heat or pressure on it and lead to what? Fracture. Fracture we just consider whether simple fracture or the compound fracture. Okay? Very good. And the fifth type of bone disease we're looking at is the scoliosis. The scoliosis is a bone disease that has to do with the spine majorly. Okay? The spine. So as you can see in the picture in my slide, okay? Or a normal spine, the spine is straight, although not perfectly straight as we we'll look at in the next bone disease. Okay, but then it appears straight. Okay, so but when affected by scoliosis, it becomes bent towards 
left or right side okay and it can both bend on both sides as it straightens down okay so scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine and it occurs most often during the growth spot okay just before puberty okay so it is mostly affecting children okay then scoliosis can be caused by conditions such as the cerebral palsy which is a higher form of bone disease we will learn in higher classes or just know it for now and muscular hystrophy okay so the cause of most scoliosis are not yet completely known we'll learn them more in higher classes those of us are specialized in bone and bone diseases okay all right then you can see people who are affected affected by them mostly when we are asked to walk or run okay it comes out straight from their back down to the waist okay, because it affects the spine okay all right in our zoom classes i'll answer your question if you have some on the last slide which is the sixth slide i have the note okay all right for now i'll leave you until we meet then answer your questions and ask you some for those of you who have questions i'll answer your questions for those of you who don't i'll ask you some all right, thank you very much and bye. Take care.